Hi guys, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to create this simple Easter graphic. So without much ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do with this image is that we want to open it up. So you want to make sure that your image is not locked. So to unlock it, just click on the padlock. Now you want to click on your crop tool and you want to open up your canvas like this. So to fill this in, there are two options. You can click on the content aware tool and click on your check and it will fill it in for you. Now the other option is you can go ahead and make a selection. You can right click and then choose content aware and Photoshop will basically fill that in for you and you can click on OK and you are done. Command D to deselect. Now you want to match both layers. So click on your top image and your bottom image by holding down shift, right click and click on match layer. So with this set for us, we want to go ahead and first of all, type in our text. So I'm going to pick my type tool and I'm going to set this to ITC advanced and I'm going to click on my move tool and I'm going to go ahead and scale this as big as I want. Now, when it comes to scaling, you can highlight, pick up your type tool, highlight, and you can change the font size here or you can type it in or you can come under your property tab and then you can change your size here as well by moving your mouse below the T left to right and it will scale it for you as well. We want to create a clipping max text effect on our image. So to do that, we are going to go ahead and bring in the image that we want to infuse. I'm going to go to this tab and I'm just going to drag and drop this file into our working file. So with your move tool, you want to click on that image, just drag it holding down your mouse. Now, once you bring it into your file, just release and it will show up just like that. Now to clip your image to a text, your image must be on top of your text in the layers panel. So once your layer is above, you want to hold down options and you want to go ahead and clip it. Now, if you are on Windows, you have to hold down Alt to be able to clip it. So I'm going to hold down options and notice that I get a down arrow activated and you want to click in between the line between the two layers and that will clip it for you. Now, with this set, we want to go ahead and just move this up a little. So we have this effect. And as you can see, you can move your image within your text. So I'm just going to do something like this. I want to go ahead and add a hue adjustment layer. So I'm going to click on my top layer, which is the image that I just clipped. And I'm going to go to under my adjustments and I'm going to choose the hue. Now with this, we just want to move the hue to a negative 25. So negative 25 and we get this effect. Now, the next thing that we want to do is to type in the rest of our info. So I'm going to go ahead and just begin to type. So I'm going to type in at and I'm going to change my font from uppercase to lowercase. So we have something like this and I'm just going to create another space in between. Now I want to change my font style. So I'm going to double click on it and then I'm going to go ahead and choose a, a Malfi Coast and I'm just going to go ahead and just rescale this. So I have it a little bit bigger and it's on top of my Easter text. So the next thing is we want to add a stroke effect. I'm going to click on my the Easter layer and I'm going to 
click on command j to make a copy now i'm going to move that layer all the way to the top like that and i'm going to go back to clip the image that i had clipped to my easter text so hold down options and clip it again so with this set we have a white text because the text that we pulled up is on top of our image text so what i'm going to do from here is that i'm going to take the opacity i'm going to take the fill of this all the way to zero now i'm going to right click and i'm going to convert that to shape so now we can see the shape so we want to click on our path selection tool and it will activate the option menu at the top now we want to go ahead and click on our stroke and we want to make sure that it's whatever color we want in this case i'm just going to choose a white and we want to increase our stroke effect you can keep it at five you can make it seven or however you want now i'm going to go into my options so you want to click on that line drop down and if you want to align the center you can do that of your text or if you want to take it to the outside you can do that so you see that it's giving me different options but i want it to be from the center now you can also round your corners or chant for your corners i want to keep that straight so we're going to leave that and i'm just going to come out of it so now we have this cool effect now i'm just going to go back and click on it again and i'm just going to increase my stroke thickness just a little bit more so with this set i'm just going to come out of this i want to go ahead and add a drop shadow so click on your text and come into your layers panel double click on the right hand corner of that layer now photoshop will bring up your layer style now you want to go ahead and play with the drop shadow settings i'm going to first of all check that and you can see the effects that it gives me now if you want to have a different effect than what you see you can click on your drop shadow and then more options are made available on the right hand side now you can change the opacity if you want i have my opacity around 76 you can change the angle if you want as well and you can also change your size that is for your spread you can also change the spread of your shadow but i'm just going to keep it like this and i'm just going to reduce my opacity just a little like that and i'm going to go ahead and click ok so i'm going to click on my tab pull this image with my move tool and i'm just going to go ahead and release it here so i'm going to set it somewhere in this corner with my move tool i'm just going to go ahead and scale it just a little like that oh by the way if you are on a newer version of photoshop once you click on your move tool you can activate your transform by making sure your show transform control and your auto selection are both checked so with this all set for us we want to move this layer to the bottom of our text so you see that i'm just clicking on my layer and i'm just dragging it down till i get to the bottom of my text which is easter we want to erase some portion of the text beneath so i'm going to add a layer max to this layer click on the layer max icon and it will create a layer max now pick up your brush tool with your foreground as black we all know black hides white reveals when working with layer max now you can go ahead and paint but you want to make sure that under your brush you choose a soft round brush keep your hardness at zero and you can increase your brush or decrease the size whichever way you want so with this all set we can go ahead and begin to paint to hide the areas that we don't want now if your brush head is too small you can use your left or your right bracket to just increase it so you get the gradual blending effect that you want 
So I'm just going to do something like this and I'm just going to also brush around. So it's a very nice and gradual effect. I'm going to pick back up my move tool. I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to scale this just a little bit more and I'm going to move this up. So it's up on the hill like that. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom back in. Now you can take the opacity of this layer down. You can take the opacity down so it bleeds into the background and it's not too much. Yes, still, it can be seen. So something like this. Now to finish it off, we are going to add a hue adjustment layer. Click on your top layer. Now you want to go under your adjustment and then add a hue saturation. Now with this one, we want to take our hue and we want to make it a negative 10 and we want to take our saturation to 19 and our lightness, we want to keep it at 11. So we have something like that. Now, if you want to go ahead and increase or bump up your color, you can do that as well. But this really brings us to the end of this lesson, guys. I hope that this was straightforward, informative, and easy to follow. So till next time, guys, please be safe, and I hope you have a fantastic Easter. So till then, please be safe, and I will see you back. Bye, y'all.